Hello, we are located on Beach Road in Pattaya and today I would like to introduce you to the three-star hotel called Tropicana Hotel, whose great advantages are its location and size. This hotel is affordable and as you can see this hotel has its own road that connects Beach Road 1 and Beach Road 2. Let's look at the other side as well. This hotel looks old but I think it's a good value. I'm happy with it mainly because of the price, the location, it had pools, it has a fitness center and big rooms. Here in front of us is the reception, but we will show here in a moment. First we will show the entrance from the side of Beach Road 2. We are located at the entrance from Beach Road 2, which is second main street here. Here you are right next to the legendary Soy 6 street and right next to the hotel you have massage parlors and restaurants. 7-Eleven grocery store is a minute walk from here and the entire hotel area is protected by security this hotel has a huge parking lot and here you have the first rooms that are part of the hotel and you can also park here as this road is also part of the hotel this hotel is basically consists of two parts from the front where there is one pool and from the back where there is a second pool and paradoxically i prefer this back part of the hotel i spent several weeks here this is actually the back from the outside here we reach the lobby it's 11 30 am it's the checkout time here's the reception entrance hall seating areas where your guests can wait for you the hotel is guest friendly but there is a guest id card needed you also have a vending machine with a lot of drinks for you here is the reception and right next to the reception you have a restaurant you can stay here with or without breakfast which you can also pay separately for a little more than eight dollars breakfast is served buffet style you can see that the entrance lobby is huge there in the distance is the back and here on the right is the front and we will start with the front Passing along the restaurant, we reach the front part, where you can find the more expensive types of rooms. The rooms are all oriented towards the pool inside the hotel. On the left side, you have two floors. The lower ones with direct access to the park are more expensive. The upper rooms are cheaper. In the middle, you have a pool and here is the right side, which has three floors. And up there on the third floor, we will show you a room. Unfortunately, right now, when I'm here, the front pool is closed for technical reasons. The pool is quite large. Another thing I like about this hotel, it is a quiet hotel. Despite the fact that you are in the very center of Pattaya, <clears throat> because most of all the rooms are facing inwards. And another advantage is that a hotel is right on the beach. Here you have a small pool with shallow water for children. I warn you once again, these pools don't look like this under normal circumstances. Now there is some kind of renovation and water exchange going on here. That is why it looks the way it does and here you have a showers. From the lower rooms you can enter this pool area through the stairs. So you have two exits from the room, front and back. Here we have a few balconies to show you. Of course you have a choice of several types of rooms to choose from with different price levels and I remind you at the bottom of the video description you have a link through which you can see the current prices according to the type of rooms and you can also book them directly at your dates. This hotel also has its own shop with clothes, firmware, souvenirs. You also have a tailor here, only now it seems to be closed. Right next to the store is the hotel fitness center that is open, we just have to turn the lights on. This fitness center is smaller, but that's probably the hotel standard here in Pattaya. Here you have some dumbbells, exercise machines, treadmills and other equipment. You also have an air conditioning. This hotel also has a bit of artistic elements. It looks like Egyptian style to me. Notice the ornaments on the pillars and the walls. I like these artistic benches made of wood, which look really good here. We are going to see the back part of the hotel which is cheaper and paradoxically I like it more. I find the rooms here to better equipped. It's more peaceful and this part has a swimming pool with a park which I like more than the front side. Here too you have several types of rooms to choose from. 
For example, those facing the pool are more expensive than the, those facing the road. Rooms on the upper floors are cheaper. On the other side you can see the same kind of rooms. There is a pool here and I already appreciate how quiet it is here. All I hear is birds chirping. Here you have the entrances to the individual rooms. For example, you have the entrance to this one right next to here. And this is the pool number 2. I spent a few weeks up here on the floor, my window was facing the parking lot, which we were showing, and I must say that I had a very good time living here. Up these stairs you enter my former room. Let's move to the front, where we will show your room on the third floor, which is more expensive than the back room I stayed in before, but I like it less. Therefore, consider which room you choose. The rooms in this part are only oriented inward, and here you have a view outside the hotel. For today, I had paid for a cabana superior room for $37, but the hotel unexpectedly gave me a free upgrade to this premier room in the main wing. This room has a large bed made up of two single beds, a TV, a basket, a chair and coffee table. Here we have a coffee, teas, kettle, two waters. Here we have a bathroom with a mirror, a sink. Part of this upgrade room is a bathtub, which is an addition to the basic room and also a balcony with a view of the pool. Here on the left there is apparently another type of room as well. And as you can see, these have large balconies. You can find a link to the hotel in the description under the video. And that's all from me for today. See you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye.